Hey, you think about it though. Guitar, super like dexterity 5000, right? Working on cars, not nearly as fiddly, because not small stuff, but you gotta be able to work with your hands. Doing all this print garbage. If you're doing this, dexterity things, or like soldering, or like woodworking, all dexterity things, but I don't have, well, that's me being pretty stiff. Girls like guys who have skills. <laughs> what a callback. Yeah, same vibe though. <laughs> That's a bow staff skill. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The woodworking, soldering. Girls like guys that have skills. That was just a humble brag. I do so many <laughs> things, guys. I've got so many skills. If this level of skill isn't uh, an indication for you, of how the other things go, then I have no help. You can't figure out how good I am at all the other things based on how good I am at these things. It's too bad. If you're doing this at home, you wanna... <laughs> not do that. You gotta make sure this wiring is not chafing on anything metal because there will be power going through this wiring. The right way, the smart way, is gonna be run it through this loom tubing with all the other wiring. We're not gonna do that. Last thing we need to do while we're in here before we buckle her back up is see what board we have. Board 4.2.2. That's our board. All right. Yeah. I'll hold that. Um, I think it's just those. Do See, this I every feel time. like that might be a top one. Yeah, I wonder. I thought I put mine here-ish. Ah, found a long screw. Okay. Hey, I'll be fine. Fools. Absolute fools. <laughs> I wasn't doing my job. Okay, I'm doing the job. I won't let go of this now. Do you have it? Allegedly. Have it. Good okay. There we go. Ooh. That was what we needed. We like to see. It's gonna be legit. Oh. Oh. Hey, oh. steady now, dude. I have two hands when I'm choosing to do it one hand. <laughs> Is it right in there? the exact same spot? Except like. <laughs> I cut, I cut fishing it out the second time because it took longer, but I did it the same way. Who's dexterous now? As in having dexterity, not dexterous as in serial killer from Miami that is a blood spatter analyst. Yeah, I got that thing out of there. I'll shake your hands and everything. Focus the video on your hand, oh but then also do uh, auto adjust the video so it's not all oh. shaky or whatever, but it makes it way more shaky. Yeah. The hands will be perfectly steady. The rest of the video is just... <laughs> yeah, that'd be terrible to look at. <laughs> look, look at that smoothness. Look how smooth the hands are. <laughs> <laughs> we just keyframe it to the hands so they're perfectly still. <laughs> Push. <sighs> Do you remember what the board was? Um, 4.2.2. 4.2.2. 2. 2. 4. 2. 2. Okay. Yeah. All right. 22s. We'll run the wiring up so it takes the exact same route as this fat one. Look at this terrible thing we did. Look at that terrible knot. The loopy loop? Yeah. I feel like I was also debating, do I loop-de-loop -loop this cable? <laughs> well, not even the loop-de-loop -loop of the cable we're running, just the, uh, the, the, the path the that The fat this, boy. Yeah, the, the reason why that's like that is because the gantry is spun 360. So there's an extra spin in that. Uh, that makes so much more sense. Did that during the dual lead screw. I was like, why is this like this? This is very annoying to mm -hmm. me, but also... Yeah. This is how it lives now. Yeah, definitely not gonna do anything about it, but it just looks stupid. And I'll do some zippy ties to cable manage that guy. There's a much larger one there. So now 
It's just a matter of getting the firmware booted up onto the machine, and then it'll go through its protocols. So I think we'll cut to like a screen recording of that firmware, and then when we do the reaction portion of it, that'll be our voiceover for that part of it. Nice. So. It's there. Eject. Eject. Eject your disc safely. Uh, a disc is so ejected. Tease it. Clickety boo. Are you ready? Reality splash screen. And a 3D2 ready dude. Also, before we forget, turn off the machine, take the disc out. Let's turn the machine on as a little, see if it still arrives at that same screen. Okay, yeah, so the board has accepted all that. Wait, is that it? Um, I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll go through and like have it do a, a bed level procedure. So the reason why we need to use that SD card is it's got the EEPROM. Oh, and, yes. And that's where it saves all the bed leveling values. It saves it to that. Ooh, so okay, okay. when it does the bed leveling, it says this corner's off by this many mil, this one's off by this many mil, and then the first several layers it compensates for those measurements. Okay, and so that's how you get it flat. It that, so, but it saves it on the disc. So if I use that disc on this, it would be reading that one's EEPROM for that level, wow. that bed, not this bed. Now we've got this level option. Create new mesh. Now it's just gonna go through in bed level and then we're gonna be done. Too easy. That's gonna be it. Which is weird because there's still four minutes. You didn't have to watch the last four minutes. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, Keo Prince. Subscribe to our things. And uh bye. You get some action shots from over there. <laughs> Shut it down. We'll turn it back on. <laughs> it just pop yeah. down. <laughs> Shut the thing off. That should retract. It did. Turn it back on. Take two. Call me. Please wait. I was getting caught on something. Oh. What's this? Oh, we don't want that. One of our Z lead screws got unplugged. How the heck did that happen? Did that get caught up in the bed? That's what I'm guessing, because this one's... Okay. So we upset its balance. Oh, it's weird that that hasn't been a problem. So angry. We're gonna go. Hey! Nice. I totally thought it was gonna stop again because it was grinding. <laughs> One of these things could take your hand off. Careful, careful! Just playing the fire. I don't even care. Oh! Uh -huh. And the color of the light's gonna change. Ah! Uh -huh. Now it knows. Now it's just gonna do some ADL things. <laughs> Alright, the bamboo does this before every print. Because <laughs> it takes like 20 seconds. Save the EEPROM? No, you only run through part of it. What is happening? But I'll put it in all the way. Let's try the other one again. Dude, it beat us so bad that we didn't even get a time lapse of it doing a successful level. We had a successful level, like, eventually, I think, because maybe no, yeah. we did. We did. I, now yeah. I remember it. We finally had a successful level, which I think we're about to see. I was so done with it at that <laughs> point because it was just like 
try a thing. All right, see if it levels. And it takes a million years to get through the first row of points, right? It does four or five points. I think it's five by five grid. And it takes like minutes to get through the first five of 25 points. And then it like will fail because the motors are binding up or whatever. And so then we do another thing to try and troubleshoot it. Get and, a little bit closer. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> then just stop on the next one. It took so much time. We finally got there though. Like it was, I don't think we even mentioned it in the video. It was just simply the Z lead screws had some schmutz on them. So when it was trying to like pick the gantry up and down and things, it was getting bound up. There was enough resistance that the motors could not overcome the friction caused by the schmutz. And so all we did was lube up the Z lead screws. There. Now it's level. It's as easy as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We'll probably talk about it in the reaction portion, the whole mess we had to go through to make it do. You know, you don't run into that kind of stuff, but that's what makes this fun. <laughs> <laughs> there's, two, there's two schools of thought. It's like, I want to get a 3D printer and make stuff. And then there's, I want to get a 3D printer to work on a 3D printer. <laughs> if you want to work on 3D printers, there you go. If you want to make stuff. Even as I'm saying that in the background of this shot, that top bar is an error message <laughs> because something's been upset with the printers. <laughs> <laughs> Something has gone awry. It's always just tinker. It's never it was, just print. You had a great attitude about it. Yeah, it was just, I was defeated. <laughs> I was bummed out. You know when you get so tired, is everything's uh, funny, and you're like, you know what? Yeah, uh, this, this what happened. That one was a bummer, dude. That was the auto bed leveling thing. What what had you remembered about that before watching it again? <laughs> like none. No, yeah. None of it. It's crazy though, it definitely sparks the pain. It comes back <laughs> fast. <laughs> that memory yeah. is, I just push it so deep down. Yeah, so, gosh, it's just, even just watching it, it seems so silly that we spent a whole evening installing a bed leveling probe on this printer. There's no reason to do it. There's no reason with the bamboo stuff or just that generation of printer. It's, yeah. it's fun to tinker and do the project and stuff. And like, I don't, I'm not discounting that. The disparity in level of technology uh, in, in a similar price point machine. It's so vast. It is pretty nuts. Cause I was about to say like, what's the, what's the cost difference? Say you upgrade everything with that. If we were trying to like make this as good as it could be or whatever. So that's never gonna get upgraded enough to be as good as this quality wise. I shouldn't say never, you can go super crazy. It'd be dumb. Or no, the all metal hot end is 60 bucks for sure. Dual lead, lead screw is 30 maybe. So that's an extra 90 on top. I think the printer was like two, 230 maybe. And so that already puts us in the $350 range. Mm, yeah. You know? Yeah, true. And then if we put anything else on it, if we got to like the $400 or $450 range, then it's A1 Mini and AMS combo for the same you money. You might as well, yeah. You know? There's just yeah. no reason. It was a fun project. We got to hang out and do stuff. You guys, you guys got to be entertained, hopefully, all six of you. I see you six, though. Thanks for hanging around. All right, well, yep, that was the install of an ABL probe. That was something that you would do. That was always like first install that you'd do. That was your first upgrade, you get the ABL because manually bed leveling sucks and having that huge game changer. But um, gone are those days, it was fun anyway. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye.